another massive edition of the Ballarat Football Netball League footy show. All thanks to our friends at McDonald's. My name's Jenji. I'm joined by Shane and well, uh, exciting round that we just had, mate. Yeah, it was uh, halfway through the season and um, a bit of wet weather and uh, ordinary conditions. But uh, I think we're now we're playing football in Ballarat in this uh, in this weather. So uh, yeah, look, we're uh, halfway through, as I said, and uh, look forward to the run home now. Yeah, certainly shaving up to be an exciting run home. Lots of great matches still to come before the year plays out. But we had some great matches on the weekend. Uh, Darley bounced back to a little bit of form with a, a strong win over Ballarat, a, a team that has been in pretty good, good form as of late. Yeah, that's right. Uh, look, it wasn't uh, the result uh, Ballarat were hoping for on the day. They had a big day with a reunion for their 10-year uh, premiership uh, back in uh, 2008 against Darley. So uh, there was a big crowd there on hand for the day. Uh, however, the result didn't go the way... Um, the way they probably would have wanted. Darley uh, were too good in the conditions. It was uh, pretty ordinary out there as well. Uh, Heath Scotland, of course, was a late inclusion. Uh, he played on the day and played well, so uh, Darley far too strong. And bad kicking's bad footy, mate. Uh, both sides had five scoring shots in the first term, and uh, Darley was able to kick four goals, one as opposed to five points. And we know um, Backus Marsh, there, sorry, Ballarat, their goal kicking at times hasn't been too favourable of kicked themselves out of a number of games. Yeah, I think uh, uh, probably uh, three out of the last five weeks they've uh, uh, kicked a, a terrific number of uh, behinds and uh, haven't converted them as goals. So uh, that uh, certainly uh, is having an impact. Great win there for Daly to sort of really turn their season into an upward direction. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, sort of the, the, the needing to start to put together a few of these good wins uh, to move them up, uh, up the ladder a bit further to get uh, one of those top two positions. Exactly. And the news... Uh, before the weekend with Brian Graham being out for uh, perhaps the rest of the home and away season is not good for uh, for them, but hopefully they can uh, recover. Uh, Backus Marsh had a strong win over Sunbury Lions by 15 points. Uh, yeah, they, they did. Um, it was uh, good conditions down there at um, Backus Marsh, uh, and uh, I think um, the, the result was maybe as to be expected. I think we probably picked uh, Backus Marsh to get the win there, and um, they uh, they had a good day out and a good, comfortable win. They certainly did. Uh, there's only one point separating the two sides a quarter time before uh, the Cobras kicked uh, 10 goals to four in the middle quarters. But from all reports, uh, Jakey Owen <clears throat> on fire. New recruit down there uh, at the Cobras. He has been in great form. Uh, some said that uh, sort of single-handedly got them uh, into a good advantage, which is great. Uh, he's been in good touch. Yeah, certainly a good pick-up. Yeah, very fantastic for them. Uh, Dylan Lant kicked five goals there for the Lions. Uh, Sebas took down Redan by four goals in uh, in trying conditions. Sebas uh, kicked 6-5 to... Uh, to, to only a couple of goals after quarter time. Yeah, um, look, it, uh, I think we all picked this uh, to be uh, the chance Redan had uh, to, to pick up a win for the year. Um, they didn't get it, uh, obviously. Um, well, they were in front of quarter time. Yeah, they had the chance. Yeah, they had the chance, but uh, Sebastian just uh, just kept going all game um, um, with it. And uh, they've uh, obviously got over the line, and uh, well done to Sebastian there. Uh, I think um, it uh, probably just uh, reinforces a long year for Redan, unfortunately. Another game where redan has been in the contest, but unfortunately haven't been able to go on with the job. Uh, North Ballarat City, strong winners over Lake Windaroo. Yeah, it was. Um, you note here what uh, City, 29 points up at quarter time, 26 and 41. So uh, they got the early start there and uh, just sort of held sway uh, against the Lakers. Lakers tried hard, um, but um, yeah, North uh, North Ballarat, um, they... Um, they're, they're going to be one of the teams up uh, up the top towards the end, and uh, uh, not so for uh, Lakers, unfortunately, but um, a, a good win for North. Yeah, Lakers only two goals in the uh, in the second half. Will Young on fire there with five, and uh, as you said, uh, City just they're going to be one of the teams to beat this year, and love the way they uh, they bounced back after the lost East Point the previous week. Speaking of East Point. Uh, their final game, we uh, we saw them win by over over twenty goals against uh, Melton South. Uh, yeah, poor uh, poor Melton South uh, were on the receiving end of it here. Um, it was uh, a terrific display by East Point. They uh, they certainly um, wanted to remind everyone now why they're one of the top teams this year with all their recruits, uh, and they're playing um, great football at the moment. And uh, yeah, that what's that one hundred twenty eight point victory, uh, twenty goals. That's uh, a, a, a really strong message and. A great result for the club uh, I think puts them uh, uh, equal top on uh, percentage spot on there mate and uh, Melton South did start off pretty well they kicked the opening two goals of the game but East Point were able to go on a bit of a run with 15 of the next 17 goals in, in basically no time at all uh, love uh, Joel, Joel out of his form he kicked six goals one for the day and um, and it's great to see his point sort of 
getting a few uh, few goal scoring options because I think he was about one of three that sort of kicked maybe 14 or 15 or more for the year. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that, it's it's good to have a good spread uh, as well, and uh, they've managed to find that. So uh, they, they haven't got the reliance on uh, that one forward, so uh, that'll uh, hold them in good stead later on. Looking yeah, absolutely fantastic there. Well, thanks so much for joining us as we look back on uh, the latest round of Ballarat Football Netball League senior footy action. All thanks to our friends at McDonald's. Shane, thanks so much for joining us. We'll catch you later on in the week. Pleasure as always.